205. Let's go. Are you ready for English? I hope so. I studied wait. really hard. I hate final exams. I know, me too. I can't wait till this year's over. I gotta drop these books off to Ms. Avery. I'll see you in there. Okay, okay. goodbye. Bye. Bye. Additional copies of the final exam time. Hi, Ms. Avery. I searched my whole room. I'm positive these are all the books I have left. Leave them on the counter. Something wrong? No. What are you staring at? Nothing. Well, what are you standing there for? Go on, get out of here. Get out! Okay, everybody, that's it. Please hand in your papers. Students are reminded that all lockers must be cleared by 3 p.m. this Friday. Anything left behind after this time will become school property. There will be no exceptions. Thank you. My last exam. I'm free. Me too. Thank goodness for exemptions. You're finished too, right? What? Oh, yeah. Right. This doesn't thrill you? Of course it thrills me. It's just Miss Avery. I've never seen her act like that before. She's probably just stressed out. Everyone gets stressed this time of year. Maybe. I just hope nothing's wrong. Let's go clean out her lockers. It has to be done sometime. And I brought garbage bags. OK, but well, it won't be pretty. <laughs> got two more, man. What about you, Rohan? Right, I got one more exam, then I'm history. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I got two, and he's got one, and then we'll have fun in the summer, son. Two more tests to go this year, then my man, we are out of here. <laughs> We're out. <laughs> See you later, BLT. Hi, Michelle. Hi. What's in the bag? Nothing. Oh, come on, let me see. I said no. Fine. I'm sorry. You know how I get during exams. It's just these. Caffeine pills. Michelle, what are you doing taking drugs for? They're not drugs. They're just like lots of coffee. These are drugs. Come on, they can't be that bad. You don't even need a prescription. They help keep me awake, that's all. I've got a lot to catch up on. I gotta go to work, then home to study. Would Chris Perkins and Robert DeLint please go to the guidance office? Chris Perkins and Robert DeLint. Thank you. Right. Got a headache. Feel achy. I've got something. I know it. You'll feel better after science. You know what's your worst subject. Hey, dudes. Hey, how was your exam? Uh, I don't know. I hope I did okay, though. I don't want to flunk again. Anyways, I got to go home and study for the next one. Yeah, me too. But just for a half an hour, let's relax. Do you want to go play some video games? Excellent, let's go. I can't. My dad's taking me driving. The test is Thursday after my last exam. You'll get your license this time. Yeah, I have to. You know what they say, third time lucky. Guys, listen, let me give you some advice, OK? This time, stay on the road. Yeah. I'm... Don't hit any pedestrians. Yeah, that's a real no-no. But you guys stop bugging me. Listen, I can drive. Uh, I can parallel park. I can back up. I can do everything. Except, Except pass, pass the stupid tests. Test. Oh, yuck. Ew. Oh, oh, gross.
gosh, what is that? I don't know. But it's been in here since January at least. It's an alien life form. We are Earth people. We will not harm you. Mmm, <laughs> yum. Oh, oh. <laughs> you guys have to come up to my college again this summer. Definitely. Oh, no. Another alien. No, more library books. I'll be right back, guys. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> I want all books back by Friday. Is that understood? Relax, don't have a bird. I don't like your tone, young man. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Miss Avery. Please, don't suspend me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what a system. Although the Cerberi is now closed, sorry. the cafeteria will remain open this week as an extra study area. Please keep the room clean and quiet. Caitlin. I'm sorry that I snapped at you earlier. I guess I was pretty upset. I won't be back next year. Why not? Don't ask me, ask the school board. All I wanted was a chance to teach. I did everything they asked, I bent over backwards, and this is the thanks I get. They fired you? Well, I have had it up to here. With a board that doesn't care, and kids that don't listen. I'll find something else to do with my life. I, I won't be treated this way. What do you think? I mean, how would you feel? Poor Miss Avery. Without her help, I never would have passed French last year. You know, she's helped everyone. It's so stupid. They fire her, but they keep Fogey Fogarty. He's terrible. We should get her a present. How about a surprise party? Good idea! Sure. But we should do more than that. Like what? Like fight. What if we wrote a letter of protest? We get lots of signatures and we take it to the board and show them she deserves a job. Another petition? It's not a petition, it's a letter of protest. Are you sure that's a good idea? Yes. I'll write the letter tonight. Then tomorrow I'll make copies and we'll collect signatures. We have to do something. Good morning to Grash. Why track and field meet this Saturday? Spectator buses will be moving at 9 a.m. and leaving at 9:30 from the front of the school. Beat the pressure of exams while our athletes beat the competition. It's not right to fire Avery. Yeah, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't even be in school. I'd have dropped out. I know exactly. She's helped lots of us. That's why we have to fight. There you go. Thanks, guys. Trish. Hi. Hi. Well, maybe a little warm. Really? Not like you're gonna catch fire or anything. Well, this isn't funny, you know. My throat's sore, my headache's even worse. I'm really sick. The only reason I'm here is because my mom made me. Hey, guys, the yearbooks are in. Great. Look. When's your next exam? In 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Oh, man, I got math. I got to study. I'll see you guys later. Ready for history? It's not worth the hassle. And it's your last one? Yeah, I got exempted from geography. OK. Look, the minute you walk out of there, you'll feel better. I guarantee it. I'll see you after my exam. Would anyone finding a pair of glasses belonging to Alex Yank please return them to the lost and found immediately? Thank you. Hey, Michelle, you want to come over to my house tonight for dinner? My mom says it's fine. Thanks, but I don't have time. Yeah, well, you need to eat. I'm not hungry. I need to study. 
I've got science now, geography this afternoon. There's only tonight to study for history, and I have to review the whole course. Whoa, whoa, whoa Michelle. Slow down. You can't stay up all night. I have to. When else can I study? At work evenings? You need sleep. Come on, you're smart. And you can pass even without studying. Passing isn't enough. My dad says I'm hurting my future by living on my own. And it's true my marks have dropped. So he wants me to move back home. I won't. I'm going to prove him wrong. Everyone take the seats, please. Clear the benches, except for the pencils and pens. Michelle, I just don't like you using those pills. This will be a two-hour exam. Remember, it's worth 30% of your final grade. Therefore, I recommend that you budget your time accordingly. Good luck to you all. There you go. Cool. So I'm signing this guy's yearbook. Right. He goes, don't sign there. <laughs> right. So I closed it. Hit him over the head. <laughs> we also did a deal. Totally. Did you guys see Lois's picture? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yes. Do you guys want to sign this letter of protest to help keep Ms. Avery at DeGrasse? <laughs> you crazy? We need less teachers, not more. You moron. She's a person, not just a teacher. If you can't appreciate a good teacher, that's your problem. Kitties seriously need a vacation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, here's Lois's picture. Ooh. <laughs> what is this petition I'm hearing about? It's not a petition. It's a letter of protest. And we've already got 35 signatures. The unfair firing of Ms. Avery? What is this all about? They shouldn't fire Ms. Avery. She wasn't fired. The job in the resource center was for one year. She knew that. Now the regular person is coming back. So they should give her another job. She was offered another job. She turned it down. She turned it down? And I was getting people to sign this letter? This is so typical. I try to help, and I wind up looking stupid again. Well, that wasn't too bad for science. <laughs> Who cares about the exam? I'm free! Yeah, well, I still have gross geography after lunch. <clears throat> Don't start. I've only got two more exams left, just two. So don't you dare nag me. Attention students, the yearbooks have arrived. You can pick up your copy when you hand in your lock to the school office. Please be reminded that yearbooks will not be issued to those who haven't paid their student activity fees. Thank you. What's a toaster doing in your locker? I have no idea. Wonder if it works. Caitlin, the party's gonna be fabulous. Raj said we could have it in the resource center on Friday. We're thinking of getting her a clock. What do you think? Get her anything you want. I don't care. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. It's only been the worst year of my entire life. I hate this year. And I'm not going to go to a dumb party for a dumb teacher. Hey, in the north, the Sahara Desert is pushing south into the Sahel Zone, which is really dry savanna. Okay, but, but in the south, the Kalahari Desert is pushing north into Angola and Mozambique. So north goes south and south goes north. Why can't they just be in the same place? Just one more exam. Just one. I don't feel anything. Sorry. My glands are swollen. I'm really sick. And I finished my last exam, so I'm not faking it. Maybe you should go see the nurse. I'll just go home to bed. Suit yourself. You know what the worst thing is? I missed my driving test. What? Why? Well, think about it. If I can't pass when I'm well, there's no way I'm going to pass when I'm sick. You're nervous, that's all. Here we go again. You have to make yourself relax. Relax. Silly me for not thinking about that. 
Here, do like this. Stand up. Come on, stand up. Okay, now breathe. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Breathing, what a concept. Snake, it really works. Try it. Come on. Come on, in through your nose, come on. Locker 12.38. Did you hear? Me and my family are going to Greece this summer. Just check it off so I can get out of here, please. Here you go. Caitlin. I heard about the petition. It was a letter of protest. Whatever. I, it was a nice gesture, and uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, right. Why did you lie to me? I have never lied to you. Yes, you did. You told me that they fired you, but really they offered you a job and you turned it down. Do you know what that job was? A roving teacher. A teacher without a class. A, a, a permanent substitute. So? So? So I can't accept that. That is not what I want. You said all you wanted was a chance to teach. Yes, I want to teach. With a class of my own, students of my own. I won't be half a teacher. So you quit teaching because you want to teach. That makes a lot of sense. If that's what you think, fine. Goodbye. Goodbye. What are you staring at? Nothing. I'll see you in September. You too. Have a nice summer. 421. Guidance office, Chris Perkins to the guidance office. Thank you. Ready for the geography exam? It's in five minutes. Five minutes? Oh no, it's awful. I lost track of time. I'm not ready. I'll blow it. I know I'll blow it. Calm down. Why should I calm down? Why are you always telling me what to do? You're worse than my dad, you know that? Oh, everything's going wrong! Hey, relax. Michelle, stop it! You stop it! You stop it! Michelle? 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 Somebody get the nurse! Is she okay? Michelle, wake up. Michelle, what's wrong? She's fainting. Michelle. Michelle? Please note that today is the final day to clear out all lockers and to return any remaining books to the school library. And would Miss Avery please report to the main office immediately? We're out of here! Ah, all yes. right, dude! No more homework, no more teachers, no more suspensions yes, till next year! Woo, that's a good time, all right! When you fainted yesterday, how long had you been taking the pills? A week. Or maybe more like two weeks. I understand how stressful exams can be. And of course you want to do well. But you're not doing yourself or your body any favors by using artificial stimulants. I know. I know. 
Caffeine pills can cause hyperactivity and insomnia, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. They can dehydrate you. They can be addictive. You're lucky nothing more serious happened to you. <laughs> you have a nice summer holiday now. Get lots of sleep. Thanks. So? So everything's OK. Except I have to do a makeup because I missed the geography exam. And I made you late for it. Oh, that's OK. And I didn't do particularly well on the other exams. Come on, let's get to the party. Oh, wait a minute. What? This is a big moment for me. I want to hear you say it, and I want to hear you say it good. So, uh, who was right this time? You. Um, excuse me? Uh, I can't hear you. <laughs> okay, you. I shouldn't have taken the caffeine pills. You were right. Ah. Uh. Music to my ear. I didn't mean to take you away from what you were doing. It's just that. Here she comes. Oh, yeah. I hate to bother you about it. It wasn't necessary to bring me all the way down there. I could have filled out that form later. I'm... You could have mailed it to me. I'm sorry, Karen, but rules are rules. And you know how the system can oh, be. Oh, yes, the system. The warm care. My mom's taking me and stuff to Italy this summer. Oh, that sounds exciting. I'm going to the mall. <laughs> Miss Avery, I was wondering if you could sign this yearbook for LD. Oh, yes. How is LD, anyways? Yeah, is she cured yet? Well, she's back at home, and the cancer's in remission. So everyone hopes it's gone for good. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Um, Miss Avery, would you like this toaster? It works. Thank you. Aren't you going to have some cake? What's the matter? Mark's come out Monday. If they expect me to do grade nine again, I've had it with school forever. I mean it. Well, I think you're going to pass. And there isn't anything you can do about it now anyway, right? So, relax. <sighs> Just think. Tomorrow's summer. More to grassy till next year. Yes. What? <laughs> Thanks, man. It's so lovely. Thank you very much. Do you like it? I do. We wanted to find the perfect gift for you. <laughs> Would you hold this for me? Sorry I was rude to you the other day. Don't be. I thought a lot about what you said. You mean you're staying? No. I still want my classroom. But I've contacted a place up north called Rainbow Valley, and they really need teachers up there. I have an interview next week. It's great. I guess. It is. 
So thank you for helping me. I really helped. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna miss you. Oh, I'm going to miss you, too. Ms. Avery, I want you to be the 339th person to see my new driver's license. Oh, congratulations. Nice. Let me have a look at that. I can't believe it. I finally got something right. Ooh, all right, Caitlin. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks.